What's up guys and welcome back to the Swamp Boys Garage channel. We have a super busy weekend planned with the family. First we have a gymnastics competition in North Louisiana with my daughter and a basketball tournament in South Louisiana with my son. We just wanted to get a quick video out. So this video, video will be a lot of little knickknacks that we've been needing to do and an update on the progress. So in this video, we will first wire up the light in the rear quarter panel then we'll install an idler tensioner pulley uh, and a belt and some sway bar connector links. So first, let's go to the basketball game, then gymnastics, and we'll be back Sunday afternoon. Alright guys, it's Sunday, it's the next day. We had a long fun day with the family Saturday. So we're back it's Sunday afternoon. And now we're gonna go out to the shop and get started. Hey guys, so let's start the Eiler tension pulley. We figured since it's 20 years old, we probably should just change it out. So let's get started. All right, just get it as tight as you can with your fingers. Then we're gonna use that ratchet. And then I have a torque wrench. We're gonna get it to exact torque specs. Got it? I think the torque specs is 37 pounds, but I'm gonna have to look it up. All right, let's get the torque wrench. All right, we got the torque wrench set up. Now we're gonna torque it down to spec. Let us see, I might have to hold it. Let me get this in. Okay, ready? That's good. You want to do it one more time mm -hmm. since my screwdriver slipped? All right, that's good. Once it clicks, that means it, it hit it. All right, so that's good. Now we're going to put the belt on. Next, we want to install the new belt. The car had a small squeak when I was idling. And this old belt was so cracked, we figured it was because of this. See all these cracks, so that's why we changed it. Yeah, that's bad. All right, grab the new belt, and we'll put it on. All right, take it out of that. All right, see how you have a smooth side and ribbed side? All the pulleys with ribs, that the ribs are gonna go to ribs. And then you have a bunch of these, like the small pump. You got a, a idler pulley there that's smooth, so that's gonna be touching the back side. Mm, okay. So, feed that through. Get it on the new tensioner pulley first. Smooth side on the small pump. Around the crank. Smooth side on that. Okay, now I'm gonna have to move the tensioner pulley in for you to get it around that. I have to get the real ratchet. slack. Can you get it around that pulley down here? Wait, get what? Let's see, which one is it not on? Right, that looks good, that looks good. Oh, it's not around the small pump. Okay, there's that. Alright, now we'll look at this side and see if it's good. Alright, 
looks good. Good job. Now we're wire, wire up the side panel light that was torn off during the wreck. This one has two white wires. So not sure which one goes where. So let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, let's see if we can figure it out. Some good luck. Yeah. All right, it came with these two connectors. So let's do it how they want it. And do one at a time so they don't lose which one is which. Go. Make it straight. There it goes. Crimp that one. And we're going to put some electrical tape. Those are tight. We got it all connected with got connectors crimped then I taped it up electrical tape I'm gonna stall it in this side marker light on the panel then I'll have to order another bulb for that size by the side all right it's in Okay, the last thing we have time for today are the sway bar end connectors that go to the lower control arm. The old ones, they not, they look worn out. There's probably nothing wrong with them, but the boots on them are tore up and they just, I don't know. I'd rather just get new ones and make the car better than it was before the wreck. So I, I bought four of them. So we're gonna change those out. We're not gonna put it on the front one yet because I didn't do the front suspension. So we're gonna do the ones that we already had and we'll show you how to do the the first one here. 
All right, you're gonna need an 18 millimeter and a metric Allen wrench. You're gonna put this on here. This has to hold that, otherwise the, the nuts, just the bolt's just gonna spin. And I already did most of it. It's an 18 millimeter and most kits don't even have 18 millimeter, it skips it. You see how wore out that was? The boot is all gone. I don't think there's anything wrong with the actual function of it. It's stiff and works good, but I figured might as well change it. Just tight in here. It's best to get your little short wrench. Oh, this one's different. Might have to get a bigger Allen wrench. All right, so this Allen wrench was a six millimeter. The old one was a five millimeter. So these might have come off a ZR1 or something. A little beef here. install it on the front whenever I put the front suspension on. But first I'll do the rack and pinion. I'll get that in first. Then I'll install the last one when I do that. So hopefully that'll be this week or next. But um, come look at this. I want to get your opinion. I'm debating on buying a new front bumper or seeing if I can fix this one. The only damage, well I say only, but it's completely cracked all the way down and this side butts up to it perfectly so if you think I could fiberglass this back together and fix it or get another one there probably four to five hundred bucks to get another one I may just try it just for the fun of it sand it down inside and back put some fiberglass and see if I can fix it might be a fun project just for see if I can do it all right all right guys that's a wrap for today's video if you made it all the way through we really appreciate you thank you for all the comments and emails we've been getting we love reading all the positive support so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time